What I want to do is to grip the club of the left hand. And then basically going back and forth like this. And the question is why? Well, you're throwing a, a club, forcing the club forward, right? So that means that your body has to follow this reaction, right? And sooner or later you will develop a feel for that your hip is going that way and that you have to counter that force there by moving your upper body there, right? This, this is a coordinated effort. So I'm throwing a club head and my pelvis is going down. And the key here is to find the feel when the body moves. So my bo lower body will move as I throw the club. Because if it doesn't move, it's just an arm swing. Support, this is our wheel or whatever you call it. The key here is find the feel. Because since the goal swing is a half motion, that means that the hip will move a half turn. Now obviously when you put your right hand to this one, you will square up the shoulders a bit. So that means that most people's tendency is down to use this, you know, shoulder turn. The thing here is when you have the feel of one hand, you add the right hand, and you start to replicate that feel. And you will notice that it's a little bit different than just having, well, at least this is for me. Adding the other club and Once I can do that, I have no turn before impact. This is what happened. I haven't turned yet. My hands and arms, if they're doing the right thing here, will be here. Right? This happens because you're freewheeling it here. Since my body doesn't turn before after, which most people have a lot of trouble doing. Teaching the grip first, I have no issue with that. Second is putting up in the stance, right? And you have no reference in golf mode. So if I have this, okay, I understand this counterweight here, okay, I got it. This is leverage, okay. Pivot. My pelvis is going down, okay, I can understand that. And then putting in the right hand there. We're trying to replicate that kind of motion. And then... And as I get this feel down, I can replicate it. The next thing is obviously is to have the evidence that you're doing it right and all that stuff, but I don't take that in this tape. Just let the feel down until this works. And hopefully, And hopefully something like that will happen when you start to hit the ball. That you are 
even though when I was well, 30% hitting the ball, it goes as far away as this ball. So, try that at home and see what happens. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Keep those questions far away. I'm gonna get back to my practice and I'm wrong, of course.